Hi everyone! This video makes part of a Wildex collaboration video tutorials. In this video, I would like to show you how you can pass a call to another person using Wildex collaboration. Here is my active call. I would like to transfer it to another person. To do it, click on the arrow icon from the call dialog and enter the phone number or type the name of the contact. If the person has several phone numbers, then I can also decide which phone number to dial. This person is the user of the system, and this is why we can also see the real-time user status. And it's yellow, so the person is away. Probably it makes no sense to pass uh, this call to, to this person, so let's choose another one. To transfer the call, press the call icon. We have started a new call, and the first one was put on hold. Right now we can notify this person of the upcoming call transfer. And to complete the transfer, I have to press the arrow icon once again. That's it. You can see that now these two are talking to each other. I can pass an incoming call without even answering it. And actually it is called call forwarding. And I would like to mention that you can enable conditional call forwarding uh, in Wildex collaboration settings, but we will talk about it in one of our next videos. So here is our call once again, and I can press the arrow icon from the call dialog without even answering the call. Type the contact name here in the input field and click on the contact name to forward the call. Now we can see that the call has been forwarded. In some cases you need to do blind call transfer or unattended call transfer as they also call it. What we saw in the very first part of this video is called assisted or attended call transfer. And the difference is that we notify the person of the upcoming call transfer. And in case with blind call transfer we do not notify, we just transfer the call. Here is our incoming call. Let's answer it. And then, as always, we click on the arrow icon and type the name of the contact. And now, instead of clicking the call icon, we click on the small arrow icon. You see that the call has been transferred. What happens if the other person doesn't pick up? Well, in most cases, the call will come back to you but it depends on your system configuration. That's all. I hope you find this video useful and I hope to see you in one of the next videos.